Good morning, Jesus man. I'm always George Page, aka the Emperor of uh, Female Body Band Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. As you know, yesterday I did my Muscle Talk Monday with my partner Jared, and while our conversation, Jared dropped me some little information that um, we put out the list for the 2022 bodybuilding season, and you know, and um, you know, he told me something that I, you know, I just was wasn't certain it was true or not. That you the um they drop they don't have um the New York Pro, so I said what's going on? So I did a little phone tagging, you know, you're trying to get in contact with people and see what's going on. So um from the information I gathered, you know, the New York Pro was not added to the list. But here's some things that is that I found out as as uh, kind of disappointing. There's been a, a change, you know, for the upcoming season, for, especially for women's bodybuilding. Um, two shows have been dropped from the list. No, notably is the New York Pro, I mean, the, sorry, the uh, Norfolk Pro and the Savannah Pro, which are two Linda shows. And what's happening that those shows have been, you know, um, the uh, Norfolk has been totally dropped. You know, last year, Norfolk was canceled because he was going on with the, uh, you know what, I'm not going to call his name. And Savannah made his debut in 2020. But now Savannah has been changed from Savannah to the Atlanta Pro, the Linda, Atlanta sh show. But we just lost the show. As you know, I did a video some time ago where I announced that Dave Brower, who runs the, um, who, who, who's, uh, promotes the, uh, Indianapolis Pro, or the Indy Pro, has brought women's bodybuilding back to, you know, has brought women's bodybuilding to the show. It's gonna be next, um, year in May of 2022. It's gonna be one of the first shows of the new. And it's on the list, as uh, as one of the shows that's coming up. It's, a, it's right before the New York Pro. But, the question is, Jake, what's going on? The thing is, you know, the point of Wings of Strength was to try to bring more shows for women bodybuilding. You know, there's so few stages for the sport of women bodybuilding. And I just don't you know, what the, what the fuck, man? I mean, what's going on? I mean, you know, you know, Linda Murray's been around for quite some time. I, I think the show started around about 2016, uh, I think 2016, 2017. And it was a, a, a popular show, you know, in my opinion. Some ladies have won and earned their shows, uh, uh, made their debuts, and won, you know, like Jay Folks, she won back in 2018. And um, I remember my dear friend, Tisha Thomas, that's where she was, she did a documentary, um, you know, I'm Tigress at that show. And, you know, Savannah was a new show, you know, you know it premiered last year, and you had it this year. Um, there's some controversy with, with some, some people might say, but it was, you know, a new show. That what gave women's body been on the stage. And we appreciate it. I'm a fan of Linda Murray. We appreciate what she do. And, you know, as you know, last year, um, women's body been made a return to um, the New York Pro after being away from them for such a long time. And thanks to uh, Steve, Steve Weinberg, uh, Weinberg and Berger and his wife, the great Miss um, Beth Francis, they, you know, both allowed women's bodybuilding and women's physique to be part of their show again. So that's a great thing. And both these, both Linda and Bev are legends of the sport. Their physiques have changed the look of female bodybuilding. I mean, you know, um, Bev, when she first came in in the 80s, she brought a, a certain look of size where women were going towards to in the sport. And Linda's physique was considered one of the most popular physiques at the time, especially in the 90s and up to the 2000s. And you know what? It's just, it's just, it's just it's happening too much where. It's just that somebody, some some reason that, you know, women's bodybuilding is, you know, being attacked from behind. As I like to say, somebody's walking quietly behind female bodybuilding and stabbing it in the heart. And it's, it's, just, it's just crazy. You know, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of these ladies. I'm a fan of, of, of sport of female bodybuilding. But it's just... The sport is getting hard for it to try to, to move up. I think mostly because of financial reasons, money, whatever else. But it's just, it's 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 getting hard for them to find a stage, you know. And just explain it, you know. Like I said, explain this shit to me. Explain to me how, you know, the wings of strength supposed to, you know, try to get a place for female bodybuilding. But now, you know, it seems like it's just getting few few stages. Um, as you know, I, I did a video where I mentioned the same video where I talk about Dave Brower bringing back, um, bringing female bodybuilding to 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 the indie show. You know, we just lost. Um, physique had lost a stage at the, at the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic, but it's not going to matter with physique. There's more shows for them. Just just had the Olympia no more than a, a, a month or so ago, and you know, men's bodybuilding are always going to survive because it's the mainline sport. It's a sport that's that that the whole all the other sports suck around. They orbit 
men's body we got like a like a you know like plants around the sun and you know the thing is that women's body we have more physique has more stages than anything and you know like i said there's this three four shows if you count the, the romania there was you know they had three four stages to compete on you know just after the olympia you know, and then there was the shows where they had um, women's vis- uh, figure and also wellness and bikini. You know, those shows, you know, those are what well, I'm seeing becoming the more popular divisions, especially for women. And now with the North Fork gone, it just seems like it's getting be com- it's becoming us, you know, very difficult for female bodybuilders to have a place to stand on their own two feet. It's getting difficult with so few stages. And, you know, even if I look at the list, I didn't see the um, Portugal Pro, which, you know, had, you know, female body for the least past couple of years. And also the um, uh, Europa, um, Europa Championship show, which, you know, I mean, you know, especially overseas where there's so few bodybuilding shows for women, you know, and it's just, you know, and maybe now with the uh, with the restrictions getting lifted, you're going to see a lot more women coming from um, across the from across the seas and across the borders to compete here. And then um, also, um, this this uh, next week coming is the Toronto Super Show, which is, you know, last year was shut down because of what was going on. But the thing is, while I was talking with some ladies, they want to do that show, but the problem is, you know, you have to be vaccinated when you get into Canada. And some women have issues with the vaccines. Some people are not comfortable taking the vaccine. And, you know, it's just, it's not going to happen because Canada is very strict about that. You have to have your... Your show your um your vaccination card, and it's also next month. That's in the next year. It's also going to be um women's bodybuilding at the um at the British Columbia show, which is great. I mean, you know, seem like you know you got another stage, even though the loss of one stage. And this is one thing I keep on saying that that the Rising Phoenix show, even you know, um should be a Olympia qualifier. I know it's a show that's created. When the um the IFBB dropped female bodybuilding from um the Olympia, but now with female bodybuilding back to the Olympia, I think it should be a, a qualifier. Even though you know they they get better more prize money and then they do at the Olympia, you know. But um still, I think it should be a qualifier. You know, I, I even though Andrew Shaw is competing in both shows, I think she should step away. It should be an opportunity for somebody who wants to earn a qualification for the Olympia. And also Texas, I said before Texas. You know, there, there's no women's bodybuilding show in Texas. And Texas is becoming a mecca for, for um, bodybuilding. You know, you know, it's up there with California. And then the fact, and this is also sad to that California don't even have women's bodybuilding shows. Where that's where bodybuilding really grows at. You know, but no, from what I've talked with some people, there are no shows in California. And, te- you know, Texas, there's more shows in, in Florida for women's bodybuilding. But Texas and California, those shows, those states, don't have any female bodybuilding shows attached to it. So I think they should try to span there too, you know? But what it is, I think the big problem is, I think people don't don't like the look that that's coming from women's bodybuilding, especially, um, you know, they want to get away from the, the, the mass monsters of the sport, you know? But there's people who's a big fan of these women, you know? And like myself, yeah, I'm a fan of the, the more mass monster women, you know, I'm a fan of them, but also I'm a fan of the women who have a look to them that's very attractive and very pleasing. And, you know, that's the thing that needs to probably to save female bodybuilding. You know, what it is that they want to go back to the old days. You know, I think, what, like, if you break it down to the three, three, between the three divisions. Like, figure, I think they want to go back to, like, a, a classic Rick, Richard, Richard McLeish. And with um, women's physique, they want to go back, like, to classic Corey Everson. And women's bodybuilding, they want to go back to classic um, Linda Murray. But the fact is, you can't go back. It's gone. That's the thing. If you you know, once you start something, you know, when, when you when these athletes evolve, you just can't you know put it back in just in the can and just say, hey, let's go back to this. It's not going to happen. You have to adapt to and change. But like I said, like I said, I'm a big fan of the Mary. I'm just I'm just wondering what's going on, and, you know, and if it's financial reasons or whatever. Somebody what you need to do is that they need to be somebody who need to take a, a chance. With women's bodybuilder and support it financially, put some money back in it. I understand that you may not get as much back out of it, but you know what? You shouldn't be expecting too much from these women. They they need they need a place to stage. They need a place to be you know be able to compete. You know, it, it's just hard for these women. They are athletes, and they're just not getting respect compared to their um um other uh you know you know other um divisions. But it's just sad. It's just some sad. 
So once again, you know, female bodybuilding, as is often as I said, has somebody walk quietly behind them and stab them in the heart. So, you know, it's just one of these things. But like I said, um, maybe they reboot the list. Like I said, a couple of shows that I just mentioned that's not on the list, they may add on. And, you know, like I said, it's always a new year. So they might even pick up some more shows. It's just, let's just hope. And not that people out there, you are a fan of female bodybuilding. If you have the resources and the way, help out these women. You know, sponsor a show. You know, you know create a format for these ladies so they have a place to compete. And to perform, you know, these women, they get, they put, they, they risk so much and get so little. It's me all the way at George Page, a.k.a. the emperor of female body talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.